The Phoenix Suns have been one of the NBA's best teams this season, particularly over the last couple of months. They're winning consistently and playing a fun and exciting brand of basketball, and for a team that hasn't made the playoffs in basically a decade, it's getting fans' hopes very high for what could happen come playoff time. I, for one, am definitely a believer in the Phoenix Suns and their potential, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Phoenix Suns season so far, the players leading them to one of the best records in the NBA, and overall why I think they could make the finals in 2021. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. For more NBA content like this, I'm trying to reach 16,000 subscribers, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about the Phoenix Suns. As of when writing, the Phoenix Suns are currently the second seed in the West with a record of 35 and 14, two and a half games behind the first seed Jazz. They're currently on a six game win streak with their most recent being over my Houston Rockets and in their last 10 games, they've won nine. In the last two months, they've gone 23 and 5 too, which by the way, is the best record in the league over the past two months. So how is this happening? The first thing that I've noticed with the Suns lately is their defense, which I think has an argument to at least be top five in the league. It's led by Chris Paul and Mikal Bridges, two elite perimeter defenders and is backed up by the team's phenomenal defensive stats, currently ranking fifth in the league in defensive rating. Their ball movement and passing has been excellent too, opening up a lot of opportunities for their players and as a result, they're shooting very efficiently. 50% from the field in their last 10 games, which is 4% better than the Brooklyn Nets, arguably the most offensively sound team currently and perhaps in NBA history. The chemistry amongst this team has continuously improved since the start of the season. And considering the inexperience amongst the main core of this team when the season started, CP3 had never played with any member of the Suns prior, it's amazing to see how well they are playing. They get better and better with each game, which is exactly what you want to see out of a contender, and that is getting fans very excited. So, who are some players playing well, leading the Suns to success that they are experiencing? We'll start with the obvious two in Chris Paul and Devin Booker. I've watched a fair amount of Suns games, but obviously I lock in and focus the most when they play the Rockets, and in the latest game in particular, the Suns won off the back of a Booker and Paul takeover late, which really demonstrated to me how instrumental these two guys are alone to Phoenix. Paul continues to light it up even as he ages and is showing how he will make any team better that he joins, it doesn't matter which. He's not scoring on the same level like he used to when he was on Houston and LAC, but his impact is still unmatched by a majority of the league probably excluding only LeBron, Curry and Jokic right now. His leadership has been crucial to the turnaround of this franchise and his ability to dictate the offense with his playmaking and gravity is, again, critical. His stats say it all really. 9 assists, shooting splits of 49-37-93, over a steal per game. Put that into context with the way he leads and creates for the Suns consistently, it's obvious why he's the most important member of this team. Devin Booker has been simply elite as well, so it was disappointing to see him initially get snubbed from the All-Star game a couple months ago. He's been balling out particularly as of late though, averaging 27-5-4 in the last two months and is shooting 51% from the field and 38% from three. For the whole season, he's got a true shooting percentage of 60% which again is borderline elite. The best thing about these two is their ability to close out a game. Phoenix have been an incredibly clutch side this season, and these two guys lead the way, consistently hitting shots late to remove any late fight from a team. These two are just so composed in those moments and it makes Phoenix extremely deadly. Booker and Paul are the stars of the Suns and will be ultimately the determining reasons for how far they go these playoffs. There are X-Factors on this team, which I will talk about in a sec, 
but Paul and Booker are the superstars and will continue to be the vocal point of the side heading in to the postseason. A player improving a lot lately is DeAndre Ayton, and he's starting to become more and more essential to the Suns as the season progresses. Ayton's had an underwhelming start to his career, especially considering he was a number one draft pick, and that's mainly been due to his lack of aggressiveness and physicality, even though he has the tools to dominate in the paint and reach the comparisons of a David Robinson and also due to his lack of shots and usage in the Suns' offense. He's currently averaging 15 and 10 on the season, but since the last week of March, has averaged 17 and 11, and nearly two blocks per night. Who knows what's gotten into Aiton in this last stretch of five games or so, but he all of a sudden looks a lot more aggressive, and is taking advantage of his mismatches, like he did against the weaker Rockets, dominating them for a 27 point outing. This step up in play will be essential to the Phoenix Suns come playoff time, as Aiton will be a major X factor for Phoenix in any given playoff series, especially if they come up against a side like Denver, Utah or LA, who all have elite dominant big men. He can still be a lot better, obviously, his ceiling is a lot higher than what he's at, so I'm definitely not satisfied with how Aiton has gone so far in his career. But he is improving, and that's a fantastic sign for the Suns going into the playoffs in a month or so. Mikal Bridges has developed into an elite 3 and D player this season, and as I mentioned earlier, contributes heavily to the defensive identity of this team. Bridges is averaging 14 points per game this season and is shooting lights out, 41% from three and 50% from the field in 49 games of action. It's ridiculous. He's such a promising young player and if he continues this level of play up, he's going to be a star in the future for sure. I can't state enough how amazing he's been for the Suns this season. His impact to them is underrated and like Aiton, he's going to be a major X factor for them come playoff time. Finally, let's talk about Dario Saric, a relatively new addition to the Suns roster, and he's been fantastic. He's played really well in Phoenix's system in 2021, even compared to last season, and this is due to him being moved to the role of being an undersized center slash five rather than a four on offense. His play style is so much more comfortable and suited to that position, and as a result, even in less minutes due to his new bench role, Saric makes an even larger impact to Phoenix than he ever has, averaging 10 points per night on near career best efficiency. Saric is a big impact player off the bench, a great second unit player, and in that role, he adds a lot to the Suns' depth. Definitely another X-Factor player for them that should be kept an eye on as we approach the postseason. So those are all the players I personally believe are making the most impact for the Suns so far this season. But how far will they go come playoff time? Before we answer that question, we need to discuss how the Suns match up with other top contenders out west. I think Phoenix is fairly capable of beating Utah, we'll see later today, but they match up fairly well and I don't imagine Gobert has that much offensive prowess to dominate Phoenix's big man depth, or lack thereof. I think they could beat Denver, but with their recent addition of Aaron Gordon working beyond amazingly, I'd lean to giving the series to the Nuggets. A healthy Lakers probably beats Phoenix too, I think they match up very poorly with LA, but for the Clippers, I reckon the Suns could be favourites in the series, especially if the inconsistent, mediocre play of LAC continues into the postseason. I'd also have Phoenix beating out Portland, Golden State if they make it, Dallas, etc. in a playoff series fairly comfortably. With that said then, I'd realistically have Phoenix being a Western Conference Finals exit. I think that's a fair expectation, but I do believe that their ceiling is a Finals appearance for sure. This team has enormous potential to go far, and that's been put on display the past couple of months, seeing with their great record in that time span. Add to that the brilliant play of stars Chris Paul and Devin Booker and the supporting cast members of Bridges, Aiton and Saric, 
the Suns are setting themselves up for a perfect peak right as they enter the postseason. Every team wants to play their best basketball at the right time, and the Suns are looking like they may just do that. It's been a phenomenal turnaround season from the Suns, led by Chris Paul. So to be honest, I don't think they can disappoint. Making the playoffs is already a big enough win for the franchise in my book. But obviously, you never want an NBA team to remain satisfied. And I think the Suns will have that mentality and make a legitimate push for the NBA championship in 2021. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But man, Phoenix is looking amazing right now. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? How good are the Phoenix Suns to you? How far do you expect them to go these playoffs? And can they beat the likes of the Lakers, Nets and Nuggets? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.